Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful and blessed day. Just in case you're new here, my name is Keisha. I blog every day at kjaggers.com. The link to my blog is below. So I am back today doing a relatively quick review for the rotator rod. It's a shower rod that I was contacted about. And you know, I usually don't do these kind of reviews and giveaways for shower rods and stuff like that. I'm more into beauty and planners but i but like with every company that contacts me i take a long look at their product at their website at their reviews and i try to make an educated decision on what i'm going to share with you guys and i also try to make an educated decision is this something we can use i don't want to accept a lot of stuff in and have a lot of clutter and have a lot of stuff we don't need so i figured that um i would really t check it out and while i was checking it out i felt like it was something that would work really well for the boys bathroom upstairs now it's dark up there right now and that's why i'm not filming this part up there because it's pretty dark and it's such a pretty day i thought we'd let the sun shine in and you would get you know better lighting with me down here but we are going to rewind and go back and i'll show you the cat's on a scratching post um i'm going to show you um unboxing it and scott installing it and all that but you know when i saw this i thought it would be helpful because the boys bathroom is very very small and it is um you know just the standard size bathtub with a toilet and a sink and a cabinet and such but there's not room for much else and my husband is a really tall guy. He's kind of he's kind of thick in the shoulders, and um, in the shower, I thought that if it was one of those brown ones, like at a hotel, it would give him more room to kind of move around and not be hitting the shower curtain so often with his elbows. And if you ladies have husbands that are maybe a little bit taller or a little bit wider, you know that can that can be nasty hitting that all the time i wouldn't like it but we decided to try it and they shipped it super super fast and it got here with no problems whatsoever um and like i said i thought that this would be beneficial to show you because i think it could be used for a lot of different things i think you could put it on like um like a pantry that you want to open up if you're going into or i read in the reviews that someone used it in their fifth wheel um and they are just doing a kickstarter campaign the company and it's located out of florida and it's great for elderly too who want a little more room and it allows you to stay warm while you're drying off without bumping into that shower curtain again and um I just was overall impressed and they have a video on their website where they show you how it works we watched that video so many times but um i thought i would share this with you guys and with most companies that i try to work with i always try to get them to host a giveaway for you guys because you're who we want to share it with and maybe your family will benefit from this review um, and maybe um, it will become useful in your life some way, shape, or form. Um, again, we have a small bathroom upstairs. The master bathroom is big, um, and I have a small shower in there, but I really thought this would work better um, in the boys' bathroom. And I'm going to take you back, show you how it came, and show you how easy the setup is. It took less than like 10 minutes to get it up on the wall and um, get it hung up i'll take you upstairs in just a minute we are redoing the bathroom up there scott was painting and i really wanted to get all that done so i could show you you know the end result but we're not done but i'm going to go up and show you how the shower curtain looks closed and open from the outside with the new shower curtain on it um he recently um went and got a new one and then i'll be back and we'll finish this up and um i'll tell you all about the giveaway and the discount code in case you don't want to wait to win you can go ahead and order and get a discount so let's head upstairs or let's rewind actually and um, then head upstairs and you can see how it installs just keep watching and I'll show you everything it came packaged and it's in this long long box Scott is going to start unboxing it for us and I guess we'll start right here with the paperwork and we'll see what came with it I'm excited about this shower curtain because I think it will give the boys more room 
and um, you know make it so much easier for them to to feel better in the shower. So they sent this package and um, it came with a rod. It's probably the directions and some information. Oh, that's a shower curtain. Yes, she said that she was going to send a. Um, shower liner to come with it so this has instant air drying it prevents water from collecting where mold and mildew and scum grow and flourish and um the shorter length eliminates bunching at the tub floor so scott might really like that and now he's going to go ahead and get everything out of the box for us shot's a huge shower van he basically lives in the shower so hopefully he will like this a lot. Um, it we watched the video forever, didn't we? Yep. We just kept watching him open it up and make it small, make it big. It was fun. Stuffed us in somehow. And again, as you guys know, they sent this to us to review, and um, they will be hosting a giveaway. I'll tell you all about those details. Um, after we get the shower curtain up and see how well it works for, or the shower rod right up and see how well it works for us. Um, and here's how it looks. So this is what it comes with. It comes with the, um, this is what closes it and opens it. And here's the hardware and the directions in this corner. We got the round looking shower head and they have different one or shower rod. They have different ones you can choose from. So they have different finishes. And um, Scott's going to get busy putting this up. So I will meet you guys up in the bathroom. I'm going to let him read the directions and figure out how to do it. I think this is the part here that um, is non, um, like, abrasive to your walls. There's different ways. So we're going to let him kind of figure it out. And we'll head up to the bathroom and install this. So he finally got it up and it anchors right into the side of the wall and it didn't take very long. It took like 10 minutes um, yeah, to get it up and he's just sliding the little casings over. And this is the you know part that you can side on, like the different colors and everything. I picked the, like, the black and chrome. I'm not sure what that kind is called, but um, he's going to get the curtain up, and I'll show you guys how it works in just a couple minutes. So it took us a minute to figure out how to hang this, and um, Scott, tell me a little tip here. Well, you want to make sure that there's a little arrow here, okay? You want to make sure that when you tighten this down, that this, this piece here, this little piece, is pointing in the same direction as that arrow. And what you want to make sure of is as this snaps into place, it can turn in the direction that allows the shower curtain to turn up and over, not under. If, it, if it's turning under, you're doing it in the wrong direction. Okay, so you want to make sure that these, these are pointed this way, which face the wall, so that way as they turn up and over, if you look on the back of the stop here, there's actually a stop right here. And you want that to be, and you'll have a small disc, if you look right here, on this section here, you see these two grooves? These grooves here? And you'll notice the outer set part here. What you want to have happen is so that it turns so that the grooves stop and stop. And so what has to happen is you want it to turn this way, meaning that your arrow and your circular ball both need to be facing this way. So as the top turns, it turns up and over. Okay. okay. We'll catch up with you when you're done. We secure, well, our last shower curtain was secured up there, and so um, Scott is going to take some putty to those little spots and repaint those um, in the coming days. We just didn't want to do that tonight and do this. We will have to cut around that little disc right up there, but it won't be that big of a deal. He's wanting to like repaint the entire bathroom anyway. Okay, so he just got up the shower curtain, and show him how it works. So it goes in. And it takes up less room, and then when you want to take a shower, um, Scott's going to show you what you do. You just pull straight out. That's awesome. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm in the shower. This is small. So when he extends it out, it gives you a lot more room. I mean, a lot in the shower curtain. He chose to put up his own because he's just really picky about his shower curtains. But um, he likes it where he can like trap himself in. But this still gives so much more room in here. So um, yeah, pretty cool. So we are totally redoing the bathroom up here. It was just repainted. We still have a lot of stuff we want to do. Um, I still want to move. But my husband has been loving the shower curtain. And when I walked in here, this is what it looks like. It goes down, you know, to about five inches above the floor. And it's in right now. And all you have to do, like I showed you before, is come in here and push it up. It's hard for me because I'm short. Hold on. There we go. Push it up and bring it out. And let me fix the bottom here. Make it look pretty. And there you go. You see the difference? Let's go inside real quick. So here I am. This would be the normal space for a shower curtain that is not open. So you can kind of see. And there's not much space. This is why I hate this shower. But let me show you what you can do with it when it's open. Okay, so it's open now. Now look back where that shower was. See how much room you have now? And look, here I'll do the same thing. See, I'm not touching the shower curtain any longer. And I got plenty of room whichever way I go. And um, it just really does open up the shower. I mean, like drastically. But the lady who designed this did not like Sorry about the construction site in here. Did not like that when she had it open like this, it took up a lot of room in her bathroom. Now, I kind of like it open um, like this, but she just designed it where it swivels, basically. You have a handle, you push up, and I'm five foot one, so I can do it. Um, it's not necessarily easy. I had to get on my tippy toe for just a second, but I can just move it up and down. You can put whatever kind of shower curtain you want on it. My husband has this cloth one and then a plastic one. So, um, and that's what it looks like again when it's in. So it does take up less room. Perfect for an apartment, perfect for a dorm room, actually perfect for a hotel too. Um, or like a bed and breakfast. It's just it's just really handy and I normally don't talk about shower curtains like this But I do like it or shower rods and it's It's perfect for this bathroom. It definitely um, gives the boys a lot more room in that shower Which is something I would really really want myself so you can tell it didn't take long. It wasn't hard to do. You can use the non-abrasive. You can drill in. We did drill in. We can patch it and paint it if we um, decide to move out. We are in a rental house, um, but we still saved like our old shower rod. And um, if we move out, we'll take our new one with us and just put the old one back up. So it doesn't really matter if you're in a rental property that the, the ones that do not screw in are less abrasive on the walls. Um, but Scott felt like they would probably be more secure um, with two shower curtains because he has the clear one and then he has the other one. Um, and with those two, he felt like it probably should be a little more secure because it was quite heavy. But I think that it would have worked still fine with just the the, the glueish type of um, secures. So um, I did not put it up myself, but it was super easy for my non-handy husband to do. And they wanted to share the love with you um, because I wanted to share the love with you. And if you're interested in getting one of these shower curtains, you can head over to their um, website pick out which one you want to order. It's important to measure. I did pre-measure. I don't think I said that in the beginning of the video. I did pre-measure and it's important. And if you have any questions, their customer service is phenomenal. They've been very helpful with me. They actually instructed me to go upstairs and measure, make sure it's right before you order. 
and you can use my name, Keisha, K-I-S-H-A, and you get a 10% discount if you want to go ahead and order. So that's amazing. Um, next, um, for the giveaway. Now, I know some people didn't like that my sister-in-law won the last planner giveaway and I wanted to say I hate to put that in this video but I wanted to say you know she was one of my first subscribers to my YouTube channels and my blog it was fair it was picked by raffle copter you cannot manually go in and pick any winner um, on that you can disqualify one but you cannot just pick a winner yourself so um, I am going to be hosting another planner giveaway for any of those of you who might have been worried that that was you know, improper. I'm sorry, but it was fair. Um, she's definitely a subscriber. She's a commenter. She's talked to many of you guys, but I'm holding another giveaway. You'll have to wait till the next day in the life vlog for all the details on how to get entered to get another Inkwell Press planner. But if you're interested in trying to win this amazing shower curtain, I love how it goes in and comes out. You can just hop over to my blog, use the raffle copter system, get entered. You don't have to have a Facebook um, account. It is easier if you do, but you can always use your email. And we'll leave it up for two weeks, so there's plenty of time for everybody to get entered. And I will announce the winner um, on the corresponding blog post. I'll try to come back and put it in a day in the life vlog. But um, good luck to everyone. This is a really cool shower rod. It gives you so much space inside the shower. I still like the kind of the way it looks when it's big and round, but you know. Um, but Scott likes to push it in. So he does have more room in the bathroom on, you know, a daily basis when he's not in the shower. Jackson actually has to jump up on top of the toilet and do it, but the boys can both use it. I use it really well. I'm not in there showering a lot, but I've always felt it was so dark in there. And I like, you know, showers that are lighter and, you know, the shower curtains that you can see through. And um, I do think I could take a shower easier now because of how much space I actually would have in the shower if it was, you know, opened up in the big kind of way. It's just like what you see at the hotels, um, but theirs usually don't go in. Um, a lot of them are that way at the hospitals, and it's perfect for an elderly person who wants to dry off in the shower. It gives them plenty of room to do that or anybody else. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of hotels and different places are starting to use these are rotator rods because they really do work and I wouldn't be on here sharing it with you if it didn't so hop over to my blog get entered be sure to come back and make sure to watch that next day in the life video if you want to, re to enter a new Inkwell Press Planner giveaway. We'll have two giveaways going on this week. This one will go on for two weeks, as will the one that's coming up. You guys can hop over to my blog. There's lots of ways to get entered. Good luck to everyone, and they will be directly sending you your rotator rod um, themselves. So I will just pass along your information when that time comes. Good luck to everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second and give me a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts on the rotator rod in the comments below. They also count as a way to get entered. You can just go over there and click that you left a comment. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks so much for watching.